Hello YouTube, Robin Hood Bricks here, and it's Brick Hall O'Clock with another package from Bricklink.com. Let's get this open. So well wrapped, I can't really see what the top is or the bottom, so I'll just pack right through the box itself. And there we go, lots and lots of little bags. So I'm gonna tip these out and go through them one by one. Oh, quite a lot. Now this haul, go to the box, was inspired by an email from the Bricklink vendor who was actually having a sale on his store. Uh, I think he's closing down. So he had lots of pieces left that a lot of people hadn't bought before, obviously. Uh, but I bought from him in the past and he sent me an email just to tell me that he was closing down uh, and it reduced his prices massively. So I went over there to see if there's anything worth having. And because of the very, very low prices, I'm talking like 1p to 5p for pretty much absolutely anything, uh, I managed to accumulate quite a lot, as you can see. So I went through all the categories of bricks and so on and picked out all of these which for me was rare because usually I don't um, buy things that I don't have specific projects for, but all of this stuff came to £22. So I think that's really good value, uh, as you'll see when we go through it. So without further ado, some of it will be quite quick because like this, some dark bluish grey rock pieces essentially. Yeah, it'll be quite quick because some of it's just very generic. Now this is quite an interesting stickered piece. It's just one of those uh, six by three by one windscreen pieces in trans black, but it's got this sort of, I don't know, it's almost like Mad Max style sort of wire reinforcement with some crashes and smashes in it. So that, I have no idea what I can use this for, but it's part of um, the space truck getaway set, which was a space police set, five 972 and I think we'll see some more pieces from that set shortly but maybe I could make a sort of stock car or something with that it'd have to be six wide obviously so I don't know but for a couple of pennies well worth it didn't even know that one had a sticker on it but there's one of those really big slopes probably use that in rocks as well rocks 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 right Ignore the stickers. I bought a load of these normal white slopes just so I could um, build uh, a barrier around my beach because I think at the top of the wall I'm going to use these slopes. So some of them are a bit dirty. A lot of them have got stickers on, which is a top tip for uh, brick clink stores actually. If you can't find the piece you need in a store that you're already buying from, look at all the sticker pieces because sometimes the piece you need is available just with a sticker on and you can just remove the stickers. So there we go there. Some shaped plates in tan. I'm going to use tan for the paths around my fairground, so they'll be good for corners. Wow, lots of Technic connectors. All right, so I've got these um, two long Technic axles and lots of these, which you can either use sort of yellow, black, yellow, well, these will need a wash, it looks like some of them, um, as a sort of barrier, warning barrier, like a police barrier or a you know, cargo area one. But also these join together all sorts of lengths of axles, which might be useful in motorizing all of my fairground rides. Then I've got this universal joint thing, which will do a similar job. Got one of these sort of cam pieces to experiment with because that'll create a sort of eccentric circle. Don't know how I'm going to use that. And these two as well, they do the same sort of thing. So you can have it turning around there and it it performs a, a different motion um, with three different settings of how wide you want that eccentric circle to be. So I'm not sure how to use these. I'm not massively into Technic, but I'm going to have to learn to a degree because I want to be able to do some really interesting fairground rides when we get there, rather than just relying on the ones that Lego does as official sets. 
Well, you'll all recognize these. I've got loads of these in different halls, haven't I? These are so useful for the supports underneath all of my raised areas, um, just because they're big, basically, and at a few pence each, very good value. Um, so if I have a five high support and I need to raise an area by six, then this would be that sixth layer, and they're just really good at getting in all sorts of different nooks and crannies. So they're great. Uh, and then there was one more that was this shape, sort of a very fat sort of T shape, um, which will do a similar job. Here are some bigger sticker pieces. Now, some of you will remember me doing, um, getting loads of pieces for uh, completing the passenger plane. And with that in mind, I've got three of these door pieces because I was hoping one wouldn't be faded because they were so cheap at about 5p each. I thought I'd get all three of them and see which one cleaned up the best. They're all a bit grubby and they've all probably seen better days. But one of these, and it might well be this one, is whiter than the others and will go best because the problem with planes is they're always kept out and they always get a bit of fading in white, sadly. There's an interesting brick. Don't know if I want it for the sticker. If I don't, I'll just pull it off. That's the wonder with a lot of these stickered pieces, when they're just sort of two pence for a six long black brick, I probably would have bought it anyway. In fact, the fact that there weren't any non-stickered bricks suggests that somebody got to the store uh, and its sale before I did and bought all the uh, useful colored blank bricks. Um, but if I don't want this sticker, I'll just use my patented hot tea technique to remove it and either bin it if I think I'll never use it or I'll stick it on an old sticker um, sheet in a spare position so I can potentially use it in the future. Now that one, I have no idea how I'd use that, so that'll probably end up being saved. This I really like. It's a sort of door, I suppose it'd be that way, wouldn't it? A door, and I believe this was from uh, the 60130 Prison Island set. Absolutely love that set. I don't own it, but I really love that set. It would be great to have that prison in Brick Bay in a way, but I don't think it will fit very well. Anyway, this is obviously um, the door to some sort of electric substation room or something like that, but I'm sure I can use it. Maybe in my airport when I get there, or I don't know. Kind of looks like a secret important cupboard. And I got four of these windows in red. I'll probably need the stickers moving as well, but I've got no plan for these, but I'm sure I'll find the use at some point. Very dirty, but very big 8x16 brick, which will be useful for supporting an area, I'm sure. But for 5p, I mean, you can't go wrong, really, can you? There's one 8x8. Might even be able to use these near the cliffs to sort of help support all of all of that good stuff. And then, obviously, the person that bought all the good bricks didn't buy red because there's three long ones there and several fat ones as well, which I can use as supports. Random bag of plates. These have all cost me a penny, so I just bought them all, all the ones that I thought I could use. Ah, and then this. This I was very glad to see. It is a panel from a junior set. That's uh, 10671 Fire Emergency, which is a junior set from 2014. Now, I agree it's not the best piece for a modern city and it's all sort of, you know, painted on rather than brickwork. But I quite like it. It's a bit of a different contrasting piece. And I thought if I got a lot of these, and I've got five now, which I think might be enough, I could use them to build a facade going up the wall of the very back wall of my Lego city um, to give it much more depth. And because it'd be so far away, it wouldn't matter that this detail wasn't brick built, um, but it'd be very sort of tall, skinny uh, skyscraper with lots of these, one, two, three, four. Very dirty as well, and that'll need a good clean. But uh, yeah, that's the plan of that. So I think I'll be able to do that in an upcoming video very shortly because um, it's pretty much just going to use sort of big red bricks and, uh, you know, these panel pieces. So I think I'm there. 
Next bag. Oh, bag of wheels. Don't remember doing this, obviously, because they were very cheap. So I've got lots of these sort of shiny wheels. And I much prefer this type of wheel, these sort of more shallow depth wheel than the sort of balloon tires that Lego was using. Not so much nowadays, but more in the sort of last decade. And a few of these ones as well. Um, because they just looked a bit clown car -y really. And they sort of stuck out from the edge of the car, which I just didn't like because it doesn't really look very realistic. Whereas at least if you use cars of this, uh, sorry, tires of this width, then they don't stick out from the mud guards. So I've got loads of those. And here seems to be a huge bag of cheese wedge pieces. So I think I'll have spent a penny on each of these, buying all the colors that I think are useful which will be the dark gray ones for rock faces, tan ones probably for the beach, these medium blue ones. I love medium blue for splashes. I just think it's a good compromise between the trans light blue, which is a bit too bright, I think, and um, clear. Uh, a couple of grabbers for small builds and a couple of olive greens. So they're really good for around the cliffs and so on because they're just sort of a bit of moss or maybe around uh castle rock then we've got lots of decorated bricks so this is another one from that prison island set obviously it's got some sort of award for one of the police guys is that chase mccain i don't know he's employee of the month or something like that so i didn't buy this for the sticker but i may well use it for a sticker actually or maybe take it and transfer it onto a tile or something like that. Don't know. Looks good though. City Seaways. That's from the um, ferry set 60119. I've got that ferry so I can use this as sort of an advert for maybe a ticket office somewhere else or just an advertising hoarding, just sort of, you know, advertising something elsewhere in the city. I really like that when you've got something that is a business, say at one end of a city and they're having an advert for it on the other end of the city. It sort of links the whole thing together. I think I'll take those off and just use the brick. We've got some, these look like good adverts, sort of for a skateboard brand or something like that, or maybe even a TV channel, Extreme. I think I've got quite a few of these or variations on them. They're from um, the 4x4 with Powerboat, that's 60085. as is that one, and probably, yep, and probably that one. Don't have that set, so there'll be new adverts. I think I won't use that unless I do a prison. A splash, so you can see nobody bought uh, all of the stickered bricks. 485, I think that's from a Cars set where there's a boat. Now these are quite interesting. So these are bricks that are in trans green. And obviously they say taxi. These are very old, but not too bad. This one's a bit broken on this corner, but I don't think it will detract from the use. Now, there was a few of these back in the day. There was a sort of red one that said station, I believe, and a blue one that said police, but they came with a sort of lighting kit. And that's uh, from the 80s, 1987. And the set number was 816, a three-digit set number, so you can tell how old it is. Um, but basically, you'd have lights shining through these bricks to sort of be illuminated signs. And I may do that. I may not. I'm not sure, but I only got them because they're pennies, as I say. So they'll be good at the very least for uh, using on a taxi rank, where we can have a queue of taxis waiting to pick up paying customers. Another small advert brick. That's from 60084, Racing Bike Transporter. And this one, well, that's quite a nice one, isn't it? That definitely looks like an advert for some sort of racing brands. I mean, if I buy that new tuning shop that's come out as a 2020 set, this would be a very good brick to have around there. I quite like that set. I especially like the Bulldog. Uh, which is a new dog figure for 2020. Comes in two colours, a white one and a red one. And um, I know it's sort of really a, a sort of nougat colour, but 
red is what you would uh, refer to it as in dog terms anyway. Uh, but as some of you will know, I do collect all the Lego dogs. So um, I'll definitely be trying to get some of those on bricks and pieces at the very least. Uh, but this is from the Night Crusher Racers set from 2007. That's 8134. Don't know what that one's from. Don't think I'll keep that. Uh, there's two more bricks from the Space Police set that we looked at the windscreen of earlier. Now these I've been using as graffiti uh, around my River Trent, you know, near where the crocodile is under the bridge and so on. They were from one by six by five panels. Obviously, these are just one by two by five bricks, but they'll enable me to have small bits of graffiti just on the side of buildings when I remove them from these and maybe put them on a more sympathetic background like dark bluish grey. So I like them with little tag marks and so on. Makes the city look a bit more real. Another fairy one. Another fairy one. And another fairy one. Four fairy ones, so that'll be good. Security transport. That's from uh, set 8199, by the way. Security smash. Which is a funny set, but it comes with lots of cool pieces. I believe I've got some more uh, later on. Another one of these white two by sixes. Right. Some more bricks. These must be the non stickered ones. So I won't go through them. They're just big bricks to help support stuff. Yeah, so they're the ones that I was able to get that would be useful, but without stickers. Lots of panels. I'm not sure I'm going to need this many white panels because I've already bought quite a few. Uh, I'm going to use them to line the edge of my beach, sort of obviously without the stickers, sort of like that. Um, give it a bit of texture, kind of like I have on the edge of my marina. Um, but anyway, for that price, I can use them as supports as well because they're a good height. So there's two that I'll take the sticker off, definitely. Now this one, I do like this sticker very much. Obviously, it must be because of the distance between these places. It must be an airport sign. And I think I've already got one of these. So maybe I can use these two stickers either on these panels or transferred onto a smaller panel. So will it fit one of those? Ooh, not quite. Um, anyway, it's part of my airport. Don't know, but it, you know, it's quite a useful sticker that, isn't it? So that's good. No. No, no. Might use that wanted sticker somewhere, but I think I've already got one. But it's quite a good one. Then I've got some smaller panels with a very badly placed Hulse sort of logo with the snake around the whatever that is, stick thing. I don't know what the official name for that is. I know it's got some fancy names, so I won't even pretend I know it. Ah, and there's two of those larger graffiti stickers. So weirdly, these are the two that I didn't have before. I've used two. There are four different ones. And these are the other two. So, hmm, got a complete set now. So as I say before, I'll peel these off and uh, put them onto more appropriate bricks on the side of buildings. Great. And then there's a TV. I've already just used one of these uh, TV stickers on a one by two by three rather tile uh, in my TV store. But here's another one for use somewhere else, maybe in an apartment or something like that. And that's from the car and caravan set 4435. Lots and lots of little bits here. There's one more panel. What's of interest? I've got some very badly bitten trousers, so I'll bin those. Uh, there's another pair of trousers that look okay. Okay. These ones are very bright with knee pads on. I think these ones are from uh, a Galaxy Squad minifigure, like Solomon Blaze. I'll probably just use them for a skateboarder because they sort of look like they've got knee pads on. And then we've got some interesting heads. Let me put them in a tower. Yeah, so there's 
there's Solomon Blaze's face at the top there, and he's got a really interesting sort of eye attachment. So that's quite interesting. Then there is a racer. So I think that's the Daredevil is his character name. I don't know if he's got, yeah, he's got another side as well. So it'll be some sort of wacky racer type kind of guy. Then we've got a Kai from the Ninjago movie head. And underneath a Ninjago character called Klaus, who is sort of old guy with a tash or a very, very angry old guy with a tash. <laughs> so that's quite fun. I'll probably use the non uh, green eyed side, but um, yeah, so nice. Got a couple of these for toys, probably to add to my toy store from the, from the game. So we've got a little rubber, a like barbarian type heroica one, a cop. So two kids can play cops and robbers with those. So they're fun. Legs from the uh, series ten warrior woman. Although I think it'd just be any old skirt and boots type combo for a, a lady about town. So I think they're. Very usable. Well, there's another one of those. What's that? Oh, it's a pirate. Well, he's fun, isn't he? Very good. And then lots and lots of other bits. Camera, croissant, uh, yellow harpoon. So much like the bricks with stickers on, they didn't get bought. There were so many tiles with stickers on. Now, this is worth about 13 P new or 14p or something like that and the fact that it's got that on means I can just remove it keep it for later if I need it and this only cost me about 2p so I'm going to buy as many of these as I can even if the sticker's damaged like that one I'll just bin it then because that's pretty much beyond salvage no idea what that is I'll probably keep it though just in case I need it but you see all of these are just going to be used as regular tiles uh, those ones are from an aeroplane, 3181. Unfortunately, one seems to have got a big bite or dint in it. I don't have that set, so I don't need it for that. But something like a vent is so general, you could sort of find a really useful use for it. I mean, that, when straightened up, could be on the inside of a building to represent a sort of uh, aircon unit or something like that. Like these red ones look like cushions or bit of ornamentation those ones are from the samurai mech 9448 now we focus on that zoom box cameras a bit damaged that one lovely clipboard i've got a few of these now upside down but anyway you get the idea oscorp they're from 76 016 spider helicopter rescue got a couple of those so you can just use these for cargo once they've been cleaned up and straightened up using my patented hot tea technique they'll uh, be good on crates or something like that then all these other ones got things like car bumpers on there's another one number plates lots of little one by two ones with number plates on now i'll keep these number plate stickers because when I have a car that doesn't have a number plate on or maybe when I've got a pair of these that are the same like I have here because some cars only have one on the front or back and I prefer them if I can to have a pair of matching ones on the front and back because that's how we do it in the UK uh, then I can use these instead if the one that came with it um, we've only got one of. Not only that, but if you've got two of the same set, which doesn't happen often, but if you do, then you don't want both cars having exactly the same number plate because that would be, well, illegal amongst other things. So um, it's good to get pairs like this. Uh, and I won't go through the rest, but you see they're just random stickers, but penny each, bargain. Running out of space here. But all for £22, you can't argue. There are lots of bracket pieces, I won't go through those. Lots of one by, sorry, two by two white bricks. Some bigger bricks. I'll use that support. A couple of white cupboards. 
always useful in shops. Some round bricks, different colours and greys. Use that for support and support. Looks like a bag of modified bricks. So we've got a lot of bricks with either clips on or headlight bricks or with studs on the side. Obviously they're really useful in all sorts of shops and things just so we can add more details, add stock. Lots and lots of white ones with clips on, they'll be very useful. Bag of tiny stuff. I need a load of these more for ballast. Still haven't finished my ballast, so I need a, a load of those, but that will help. A few jumper plates, a few plant pieces, flower pieces. I won't go through all of those. Lovely, lovely. Bag of slopes. They look like old dark grey. In fact, they are one of the worst, most horrible colours that Lego's ever done. I don't know if I deliberately ordered that, but for the price I paid, can't complain. But they'll be good, actually, as a contrast in my rock faces if every other 1x2 slope is actually using old dark grey rather than dark grey. You can see the difference. It's quite pronounced. This is a very sort of muddy dark grey as opposed to being bluish, as the title suggests, of the newer one. We've got some light ones and a lot of brown slopes. And I use these brown slopes to help make trees and tree roots and so on. So they're all very useful as well. More interesting pieces. Got a lot of the clamps that are useful for decoration. Of those one by fours with a stud on either end, a few jumper plates, some grill plates, table tops, round, dark brown. Some of those, they're good for uh, making your own uh, train carriages and so on, cargo. And last but not least, a lady reporter. I think I've got this exact figure because she came in one of the Alien Conquest sets, but, um, you know, really useful pieces, a nice face print, nice hair, great top, good condition, and an amazing price. And then there was one of these, which I've never seen before. It's a slightly different um, skeleton, but it's sort of got these different arms on. I've always had ones with the sort of more, um, you know, robot arms. Anyway, and it's weird because it's in a sort of, tan colour rather than white but uh, maybe this will go in a doctor's office or something like that I don't know but it's good fun so that is it what a mountain well that truly was a mountain of varied bricks with quite a lot of interesting ones to play around with and a lot of interesting stickers for a very very cost effective price so I'm very glad to receive them. It's not often I get so many bricks that I don't have specific plans for, but um, I'm sure I will find very specific and good uses for each and every one of them. Fantastic. So as always, thank you very much for watching. Do remember to like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe for more awesome LEGO videos. And next time on Robin Hood Bricks, We'll be completing the gym building to incorporate all of our gym equipment we made last time. And I think you'll like it. It's a very interesting design that's going to go in a very interesting place. See you then.